lot of us are probably guilty of going shopping, there's a good special, put on a credit card, maybe you open a new credit card because you're gonna save an extra 25% and then the bill comes and you forget that you open that new credit card and the bill just sits there and you open the bill two months later and you're like, ooh, that dress that was $500 on sale, not $500 anymore. That's bad debt. Bad debt um, is high interest rate debt. Double digits is a good rule of thumb of, of expensive debt. Um, but also debt that's not helping you buy something towards your long-term future. So what is good debt? Good debt is generally less expensive debt, lower interest rates, but also debt that helps you move towards your financial future. So mortgages are oftentimes an example of good debt. Mortgages are helping you buy an asset, a home. Um, generally, they tend to have lower interest rates versus other kinds of debt. And that can be a great way to achieving a long-term dream. And so balancing um, where you are today, what debt do you have today? Knowing what you are paying for your debt so that you can make a good decision on where you go next. When you have that extra dollar, because you can take that extra dollar and say, hey, I'm gonna put it towards my student loan debt. So for every dollar extra I put to my student loans, I'm saving 13%. I can't earn 13% in my investment portfolio. So understanding what debt you have, making those regular payments, and then being in a position to make that decision around that extra dollar, putting it towards debt or not is important.